When you're creating a jewelry project that requires glue or adhesive, it's really important that you know how to choose just the right product for the materials that you're using so you get a great hold and your piece really lasts. Hi, I'm Patty. I'm a jewelry designer here at Fire Mountain. And today I'm going to help give you a good working knowledge of glues and adhesives and how they go with the materials that you could be using to make the best choices. So there's six different categories that we're going to be looking at. The first one is metal to metal, and then gemstone to metal, rhinestone to fabric, foil back rhinestone to metal, then knotted cord or thread, and fabric to metal. So first, we're gonna go ahead and look at metal to metal. So when you're making a metal to metal connection with adhesive or glue, uh, you need to realize that you're working with non-porous material. Metal doesn't have little holes in it that the glue can seep into and grab. So you really need a product that's designed specifically for a slick surface. So as with these earrings, where I've taken some wire and wrapped it around hoops and glued the ends down to make sure that wire doesn't move off the hoop, the products that I recommend are um, Gorilla Super Glue Gel and DevCon 5-Minute Epoxy. So with the DevCon, I really love this product. I use it all the time for a lot of purposes. Um, it's great because it really sets up well in five minutes. And in fact, in 15 minutes, you can wear that piece or keep working on it. It does dry nice and clear, um, but it is a two-part epoxy, so you have to mix the two parts together before you use it. Now with the Gorilla Super Glue Gel, um, this one is really nice as a gel consistency, so it doesn't run. It stays right where you put it and it has a nice fine applicator tip and it's ready right out of the bottle so there's no mixing. Um, the one thing to know about this is it does dry white so when you're using this make sure that no glue is visible um, in the end piece. Next we're going to look at gemstone to metal. So with this piece you can see that we've glued a gemstone cabochon into a metal setting. As with metal to metal they're both non-porous surfaces, so you do need an adhesive that's really good with slick surfaces. The adhesives that I really like for this are DevCon 210 Epoxy and GS Hypo Cement. Now with the DevCon 210 Epoxy, it's much like the DevCon 5 Minute, but it has a 30 minute working time. So if you're setting a bunch of cavachons and settings or a bunch of gemstones to metal, you have a nice long working time to move those around before it sets up. It does set up in 30 minutes, which means you can wear it, you can keep working with it. It's a great product. It is a two part epoxy, so you do need to mix the two parts to use it. Now the GS Hypo Cement is also a great product. This has a really cool, a uh, very fine um, precision tip, one of the finest I've seen. So if you're using very small products, you can get this really into small spaces. It works great for that. Um, it also does dry clear and um, it's very easy to work with. It's a good hold. Next, let's look at rhinestone to fabric. So as in this dress that we've embellished so beautifully with rhinestones, when you're working with these two materials, you've got a non-porous surface, which is your rhinestones, and a porous surface, which is your fabric. So you need an adhesive that works really well with both. In this situation, I recommend GS Hypo Fabric Cement or Jewel Bond. Now with the GS Hypo Fabric Cement, you get that really cool, really fine precision tip that um, is so well known with GS Hypo. It's great for really tiny embellishments. Uh, now the Jewel Bond has um, also a nice applicator tip, but it's not as fine. So if you're working with a larger element, you might really enjoy that. Both of them dry, washable and flexible. Now we're going to be looking at foil back rhinestones to metal. Now foil back takes special care. 
uh, the foil on the back of the rhinestones can be reactive with certain types of glues, like super glues. And so you really have to be careful what product that you choose with that, or you can degrade the foil on the back of the rhinestone. So, as in with this piece, where we've embellished this wire with these beautiful rhinestones that are foil backed. The products that I recommend are GemTuck and Super Tight. So with the GemTuck, um, it has a really nice fine applicator tip and it comes out white, but it does dry nice and clear. So with the Super Tight, it also has a real nice fine tip, but it does dry in 30 seconds, so it's a real quick working time. So if you want it to work fast, this is great. If you need more working time, I would probably use the GemTech. Next, let's talk about knotted cord and thread. So when you have a project where you're creating knots and you want to make sure that the knots stay, like in this bracelet where all the little dangles have individual knots. It's great to use a little dab of glue in there to make sure that the knots stay right where you put them. So um, being that cord and thread are fabric, you want um, an adhesive that works really well on fabric on a really porous surface. So the two products that I really like for this are E6000 Freelock and E6000 Jewelry and Bead. Now with the Freylock, um, I love this product. I use it all the time. It's got a wonderful applicator tip. It comes right out of the tube. There's nothing to mix. Um, it's not sticky, but it's got a nice viscous consistency so it stays right where you put it. Um, it doesn't dry completely clear, so when I use it on something like this bracelet, I will wipe the excess off before it dries right away. Um, and then I've actually used it on this product. You can see that there's no residue if you wipe the excess off. Now with the E6000 Jewelry and Bead, um, this has a really nice thick viscous consistency. It's stickier, it's gonna stay right where you put it, and it is gonna dry clear, but it's also gonna dry hard, whereas the E6000 Freelock dries flexible. Last, let's look at fabric or leather to metal. So you can see in this project, we've made this great bracelet with leather cord um, that is glued into a metal clasp end. It's actually a one piece clasp. You want something that's going to fill up the space in there and really have um, a nice hold that is going to work with metal, which is your non-porous surface, and leather or fabric, which is your porous surface. So the two products that I recommend for that are Quick Grip and E6000 Plus. Now with the E6000 Plus, this is a great product. It's very, very viscous. It's really gonna fill up that space. Um, the E6000 Plus is a newer version of regular, the old standard E6000, and it has less odor, so I really, really like that. Um, the Quick Grip has a really nice fine applicator tip, which I really like. The E6000, you really have to use a toothpick or some other um, utensil to get the product right where you want it, whereas with the Quick Grip, you've got that great applicator tip. The Quick Grip is a gel consistency, so it's not as thick and sticky as the E6000, but it will stay where you put it. Um, so they're both great products for that application. Well, I hope that you can take all of these great tips forward in choosing the right glue for your projects. Now, make sure the next time you're doing a project, go to our website and type the word glues into the search search bar, G-L-U-E-S. And that'll bring up a glue chart that will give you all kinds of information about all of our adhesive and glue products. Um, also, make sure and sign up for our email newsletter that gives you all kinds of insider information on new sales and promotions coming up. Make sure and like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.